I think there's enormous change in the field of radiotherapy for prostate cancer, and it's very, very. It's a very interesting time to be a clinical or a radiation oncologist. We've talked a lot about localized prostate cancer and the move to stereotactic radiotherapy that has really been enabled through technical advances in hardware, in computational software, um, and uh, actually in medical devices, which have allowed us to move right down from 39 to 44 treatments of radiotherapy to 20 treatments and now hopefully on to five treatments, which is so good for patients and for busy radiotherapy departments. I think we're going to see now uh, AI, artificial intelligence arrive, which is going to really help us uh, and our throughput of patients uh, and enable us to deliver personalized treatment on a fraction by fraction basis in the relatively near future. But we should also consider advanced or, or metastatic prostate cancer as well, because traditionally, our role uh, as radiation oncologists was limited to palliative, palliative radiotherapy for symptom control. And it was much more about delivering drug therapy in that space. But we're seeing a real crossover in that now with, with drug therapy moving into localized prostate cancer and making huge differences, but also radiotherapy moving into advanced prostate cancer. Again, with stereotactic radiotherapy to, for instance, to areas of, of metastatic disease where we see very high local control rates, 80% or high and uh, now we're developing studies to really test whether this makes a difference to overall survival in patients with metastatic prostate cancer. So I think there's much more to come from radiotherapy in prostate cancer. I haven't even mentioned uh, directed uh, radionuclides such as PSMA radionuclides. That's a whole other story, but it's an exciting time to be an oncologist in prostate cancer at present.